patient will be greeted by a security officer who will check the patient's temperature and then instruct them to sanitize their hands. Once this initial safety precaution has been observed, patients will be issued a ticket and advised to sit until their turn arrives. A prescription is a legal document that a physician will use to communicate a patient's medication to a pharmacist. At the Northwest Regional Health Authority, prescriptions are only valid once they have number one, the date, number two, the patient's first and last name, number three, the patient's registration number, and other parameters, such as sex and age. Number four, the correct course of therapy. This includes, but is not limited to, verifying medication strength, medication frequency, and route of administration. Number five, the duration of therapy. Number six, the clinic stamp. And number seven, the prescriber's name in block letters and their signature. Before the pharmacist begins the filling process, he or she will take a couple of minutes to confirm the validity of each prescription. Once the above criteria has been satisfied by the pharmacist, they can then begin the dispensing process. Dispensing process involves firstly a registered pharmacist undertaking a pharmaceutical assessment of every prescription to ensure the safety, efficacy, and the quality of medications being prepared, and finally, counseling the patient. Now, whilst the first part of the dispensing process can be carried out by a registered pharmacist or a pharmacy assistant under the supervision of a registered pharmacist, only the registered pharmacist is authorized to dispense and to counsel patients. The patient counseling process includes strict maintenance of patient confidentiality at all times, verifying and confirming patient details, accurately documenting prescriptions, and ensuring that the product matches the label. Also, ensuring that the patient understands how to correctly use their medication. So do you have any questions? Yes. Could I use Panadol with this medication? No, you cannot use Panadol with it because the trauma set contains Tramadol and Paracetamol. So you'd be overdosing on your Panadol. Thank you. You're welcome.